Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Jeanette and I give prophetic messages. So whenever you hear a prophetic message, please take the word before God and pray over it that the word covers you, um, that every word is for everybody. Some words are just you know, in season, know which season you're in and the Holy Spirit will guide you and lead you. So I just want to come on here and give a quick word. Um, let's just pray really quickly and then I'll leave you guys with a word. Father God, we just thank you for this hour. We thank you, Father, that as you give this word, that it is sealed and protected by the blood of Jesus. We thank you that this word will cover your children, Lord, and that you will reveal yourself through wisdom and through honor and through your love, Jesus. And we just pray over this word in Jesus' name. Amen. So I felt as though God wanted me to come on here tonight and just share with you guys um, about a fast. So um, I actually started doing this fast, but I feel like he wanted me to do this as a community. If you guys are willing to partake in this fast, then you're more than welcome to. Um, this fast is open to anybody and everybody that's watching this. Um, you know, it's not going to be like an in-depth type of fast. It's going to be a two-day social media fast. So I've done this before. Um, I've done these fasts before, and it has actually helped me to just spend time in the Word and to just really meditate on the Holy Spirit and to meditate and just give God that time, you know, because the first thing anyone does, I'm, I'm guilty of this too, in the morning, I look at my phone, and um, these are things, these are habits that I'm trying to rid of and just push doing things like that later on and putting the most important priorities um before that so if you guys are wanting to um do this fast with me i, I have already started but i can resubmit tonight um so it's going to be a two-day social media fast so that means you know snapchat instagram facebook messenger youtube is okay if you guys are watching prophetic videos um if that's where you're getting your spiritual food from um Again, um, I fast the entire time. I don't fast like a specific time. So this fast is to fast the complete two days, like the entire two days, meaning no checking in. If you have to delete your apps, that's what I do because it's just a habit of me going on Instagram and call it. It's such a bad habit if you kind of think about it. But, um, but yeah, so if you guys are wanting to do this, just write down below um, that you're starting this fast as well. You've already started, so you can continue today. I don't know what your time zones are, so just implement the two days from today on and just hold yourself and, and maybe have an accountability partner. That way you guys can hold each other accountable. Um, but again, I, don't, I know everybody's in different places, so just understand that our time zones are different. So my two day fast, um, since I'm resubmitting under oath before the Lord will be starting now. So um, again, if this is something you are wanting to do, we can do this together and then I'll just make videos for the next few days praying over our fast. So um, again, coming together as a body of Christ, we are to pray as a church, as a community, and stand in agreement and stand together, especially for, you know, our our president as well. We want to lift up our president as well. I don't talk about this enough, but I know that this is very important. And as the body of Christ, we are called to pray um, over these circumstances as well. So we'll come together. We're going to pray for our president. We're going to pray for the nation for um us christians as well because we are actually you know it, it's 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 an eye opener and although we're protected and the lord covers us there is a lot of things that are going to be happening so let's just stand together in agreement um again it's just a two-day fast so while i'm here i just want to encourage you guys um there's gonna be and this word i feel like i, I gave this word today and i gave this word recently as well and it's like the lord is really wanting me to to just address this so take this word before the lord you guys and just understand that not every word is for you know which season this is so just just pray for this word that this word covers you in jesus name um so the lord is is really wanting me to share with you guys and i put this word up this morning but he's wanting me to share with you guys on boundaries. And the reason why he wants us to walk in his boundaries and, and guarding our hearts and, and, and just 
allowing him to lead us in all truth and all spirit and putting up boundaries is because of where he's taking us. It's because of the calling placed upon your lives. And if you just let anybody and everybody come in with baggage, with with drama, with um, negativity. This isn't just about um, friendships and stuff like that. This is this is more than that. And so the Lord is saying in this time, he needs, the Lord is saying in this time that he needs his children to really know his spirit right now, know his truth and put up boundaries because where he's taking you, he needs your full attention. He needs your whole heart. He needs you guys to truly tap into his goodness into his truth into his word and the lord is saying right now for many of you guys you've been entertaining way too many things that are not really serving any purpose for the kingdom he's saying you've been you've been entertaining these things way too long and the lord is calling you to turn away from whatever it is and go to the father and ask for his his forgiveness and go to his heart and seek his heart out that he can implement his goodness inside of you and you know He's also saying that going into, as we're walking into this new year, he's saying that you're going to need his spirit to, to stand with you, to reside within you because of the things to come. And so the Lord is really saying this strongly on my spirit, you guys. He wants you guys to know his truth, to honor his truth, to honor his word, to walk in it, and to know that he makes all things new. So right now, for many of you guys that are walking with the Lord and his truth and spirit, and you are turning away from all these things that you maybe were once entertaining, or maybe you didn't realize you were entertaining, but the Lord showed you, and he spoke it to you, and you were obedient. This is impurity. This is in, in abstinence. This is in... Um, praying for other people, you know, all those seeds, all the seeds that you've planted, all the seeds that you've, you've been watering and you sowed those seeds on a good soil, on good soil, on good grounds. So the Lord is saying all those times that people didn't know when you were praying for others, when you were, you know, pray in your prayer closet, when you were seeking him and in, in reverence to him, the Lord is saying that you are going to reap such a reward and this is a harvest season. And he's saying even further along that those that weren't sowing on good soil and were just kind of dwindling things on their own and doing their own thing, that they're going to reap what they've been sowing. So you either reap on good grounds, on good soil, or you don't. And so as you continue to receive the blessings, as you continue to walk in the blessing, because many, many, many of his children are going to be so blessed this year and the years to come. He's saying you've just stepped into his provision for your life and give him the opportunity, the chance to do this for you, okay? Do not take matters into your own hands. The Lord is saying, wait upon him. Wait upon him. He's saying, and he's also saying, faith without works is dead. So if he's calling you guys to step out on the water, as I said before, like Peter, to walk across the water to Jesus, he's saying, many of you guys, he's put things on your heart to, to begin, to, to continue to move forward in. And he's saying, don't get complacent now because this is not the time to get complacent. This is the time to move in all he's done for you because all the things that he's told you to do because he's going to bless it. And so if you know this word is for you, continue to pray over it and ask the Lord to reveal that to you because he will. He will reveal his plans to you, not in full, but in part. And as he gives you parts and pieces of the puzzle, he's going to He's just going to move you and he's going to give you directions and instructions. You don't have to worry about that. So again, seek the Lord's heart. Remember that not everybody, not everything is for you. Go to God and pray. And he's saying exposure of enemies. He's saying people that maybe have tried to take you down or tried to disconnect you from your goodness and your kindness. The Lord is saying that he's going to reveal that as well. You don't have to worry about anything. The Lord is working all things out. Remember, we're in like this time frame of, of just a lot of deception coming out. And the Lord is saying that he, he's not done yet. He's saying he's having his way and his will be done. 
his will is going to be done no matter what. So continue to trust in him. Continue to confide in the Lord and his spirit and his truth. And read the word. Ask for wisdom so that wisdom so that you can understand. Ask for wisdom on how to operate in his wisdom and how to move in his wisdom. Because I, I promise you, you will begin to do so. And so the Lord, he says, asking you shall receive. When you ask, he gives unto you, especially when it comes to his gifts. He loves to give to his children. But just know as you seek him, he will align these things for you. So I pray over you guys. I thank y'all for watching this video. Again, two-day fast. We're beginning today. Um, if you guys are, let's say, you know, you're ahead of my time zone, then just implement those two days. And then we're going to pray as I come on here tomorrow and the following day, I will give a prayer for our fast as well. So I'm so excited, you guys. Um, I've never done a fast with a community before. So this is really exciting for me as well. So I love y'all. I'll talk to you guys soon.